I'm Ganga. And I'm Tara. And we are the founders of a nonprofit organization called the Universal Fellowship of Light. The Universal Fellowship of Light has seven mission statements. One, the Universal Fellowship of Light promotes the enlightenment of humanity. Two, the Universal Fellowship of Light respects all religions and spiritual traditions, yet is free of all sectarianism that divides humanity. 3. The Universal Fellowship of Light welcomes people of all races, nationalities, genders, and levels of society. 4. The Universal Fellowship of Light improves the quality of life by promoting the health of body, mind, and spirit. Five, the Universal Fellowship of Light is non-political, yet holds high the banner of peace. Six, the Universal Fellowship of Light is dedicated to preserving the spiritual heritage of humanity. Seven, the Universal Fellowship of Light proclaims we are one in love and light. Tara and I began the spiritual path when we were teenagers. And over the past 40 plus years, we've taught meditation to thousands of people. We've started Dharma centers in America and Europe. And we've taught retreats throughout the world. We lived in India for seven years. And then we returned to America because we felt it was time to begin sharing what we had learned in India. During our seven years in India, we specifically were researching the ancient Siddha tradition. We studied many, many saints, traveled all over India, met many saints, some at their caves in the Himalayas, and we learned a great deal from them. It's our desire, it's our passion, it's our mission in life to share these teachings with anyone who is interested in attaining enlightenment. Actually, everyone on planet Earth is already a member of the Universal Fellowship of Light. You don't have to join it, you don't have to pay dues, just by virtue of being a human being alive on this planet, you're already a member of it. We call it Universal Fellowship of Light because it includes everyone. It's universal. And it's a fellowship. It's not a brotherhood or a sisterhood. We accept everyone, no matter what nationality, religion, culture, or gender. Tara and my spiritual approach is universal. We agree with the great Siddha saint, Shirdi Sai Baba, who when he was first recognized as a saint in India, the Hindus ran to him and said, you must be a Hindu saint. And he said, I respect all religions, but I'm not any one religion. My religion is love. And then when the Muslims heard that he said he wasn't a Hindu saint, they came running. And they said, oh, we heard you're not a Hindu saint, then you must be a Muslim saint. He said, no, I respect all religions, but I'm not any one religion. My religion is love. So Tara and I believe that there is an urgent need in the world to go beyond sectarianism. For too long, religions have divided people. Countless wars have been waged tremendous suffering inflicted on humanity in the name of religion. The time has come to rise above sectarianism, to rise above the feeling that my way is the right way. For too long people have said, it's either my way or the highway, and they've killed in the name of God. We believe the time has come for humanity to unite in love and light. Love is a universal principle. The love a mother feels for her child in America is no different than the love a mother feels for her child 
in China or Russia or any other country in this world. Love is a unifying principle. For the past four years, Tara and I have been traveling the length and breadth of America. We've given over 600 free spiritual events from coast to coast around America and also throughout Asia in Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Taiwan, and Hawaii. We feel passionately that there's an urgent need in the world to understand the lives of the great enlightened masters, those individuals who have attained the pinnacle of human consciousness. You know, we live in a very, very difficult time. There are huge problems facing humanity. Climate change, running out of clean water, running out of food for millions of people, war, terrorism. These are huge problems. And we believe that the solution to these problems is to raise the level of consciousness of humanity. Consciousness determines everything. It determines our awareness, our knowledge. It determines who we are. If we're in a low state of consciousness, we have very limited awareness. Often, in a low state of consciousness, one's heart is closed. One is intolerant of others. But when a person is in a higher state of consciousness, they're more aware. They're more compassionate. They're more tolerant of others. So the challenge of our time is how are we going to raise the level of consciousness of humanity? Now when you want to learn how to do anything, you go to an expert, right? These are the experts. These are the people who succeeded in attaining enlightenment. And so they are our greatest resource they are the greatest resource in the entire world because they achieved what humanity needs to achieve on a massive scale. So we believe that by understanding the lives of all these great saints from different spiritual traditions, we discover what we are capable of, both individually and collectively, as humanity. Tara and I invite you to participate in the many activities that we have planned. This coming year we have two books coming out. The first is called Herbs for Spiritual Development and it's about the herbs, the tonic herbs, that Buddhist and Taoist sages have used for thousands of years to promote health, longevity, and enlightenment. I think you'll find it extremely valuable information for your own health and ultimately for the attainment of enlightenment. The second book that's coming out later this year is the summation of everything Tara and I have been teaching around the world. It's actually the summation of everything that we've learned in over 40 years on the spiritual path. It'll be a great resource of knowledge about the wisdom of the sages throughout the ages. For more information, see our website, universalfellowshipoflight.com. We'll provide you with all our contact information at the end of this video. Tara and I believe, deep in our hearts, that a golden age is coming for humanity. You know, looking around, we might become discouraged at times, thinking there's so many problems in the world. But we believe that the old world is dying and a new world is being born. The golden age is coming for humanity. And in this golden age, we will have the best of the ancient combined with the best of the modern. Ancient wisdom and modern science. The old and the new, east and west, uniting in a glorious future for humanity. Let's all be part of that transformation. We look forward to meeting you, and we look forward to being co-creators 
of the golden age for humanity. Namaste.